Yes, can I help you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You must have me confused with someone else. Who are you supposed to be, anyways? Hmm... I don't suppose the word nightfall means anything to you? Yeah, I didn't think I recognized you. Are you new? <laughs> Figures. Look, I'm not sure who you think I am, but you are mistaken. So, move along. Uh, let's not do this. I've been good. Relatively speaking, I'm really not going back to that hellhole of a prison, though. I will set the world on fire if I must. Just talk. Sure. Sorry, not interested. Now, get out of my way before I make you. Oh, that's... that's unpleasant. Telekinetic? So much for just talking, huh? <laughs> You won't let me go until I hear what you have to say. Well, there's only one thing I can say to that. Release me. <laughs> I can't believe you actually confronted me without knowing what my powers are. Granted, I made one of your heroes delete all the files on me, but still. Hypnotic eyes? Sweetie, hypnosis is more of a hobby of mine. My real power is my voice, not my eyes. That said, look, look into... into... What? Stop. Stop. Don't, Don't move. move. What the hell did you do? Hmm, an EpiPen. <laughs> Adrenaline? I suppose that is going to make it harder for me to hypnotize you. But for how long, I wonder? A minute? Maybe two? I've got time. And you're not going anywhere either, are you? No, you're still stuck in place. Doesn't harm to make sure, though. Do not move. You know, come to think of it, I think you might actually be onto something there. With the hypnotic eyes, I mean. I did get the impression that putting the whammy on people has been going a lot more smoothly lately. I did get a lot of practice in, after all. I guess I probably could melt your mind with just my eyes, without even saying a word. <laughs> Fine. You wanted to talk. Let's talk. But you're going to be looking into my eyes as we do. Sit down and look into my eyes. Let's find out how long it takes before I turn your mind into mush. Oh, please.
please don't beg. It's not becoming of a superhero. Besides, wasn't there something you wanted to talk to me about? You'd best get on with it. That adrenaline isn't going to protect you for much longer. Time's running out. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Alright, time out. I'll cool it with the superpowers. And you can move a bit. So let me get this straight. You lot went out to fight some kind of eldritch horror, and almost everyone's gone mad, and all of your psychics? Like, all of them? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sure it's all very serious, but really? Good lord, what a shit show. I didn't think you heroes were even capable of working together on something. It, it must have been bad. And even then, you managed to screw it all up. Did you at least get it? You're yanking my chain, right? There's no way Captain Awesome ran away to... I mean, he's not particularly bright, but you can't call him a coward. He was calling for his mommy. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen that. So that's why it's just you coming after me, huh? No offense, but I'm impressed that you managed to piece together as much information about me as you have. But you're not exactly a powerhouse, and coming after me alone? That was really unwise. You must actually be desperate. So, where's that creature now? Ah, <sighs> all right. I will grudgingly admit that you superheroes do some good work too. And it would be an inconvenience for me if that thing wrecked the city. <laughs> A hero asking me for help. The world really has gone mad. So what are you expecting from me? Hypnotize everyone to make sure they don't go crazy anymore? Yeah. Well, duh, of course it would be a good idea. What, were you just going to ask me to help everyone come to their senses and then go try the same thing all over again? Good lord, but you superheroes are hopeless. Have you never heard of the definition of insanity? I should have gone through with my plan to take over the League after all. There would have been no running away from Elder Chores on my watch. No way. Just mindless obedience. <laughs> I'd like to see that thing try to affect an empty mind. Hmm, that might actually be a plan. Now that I think about it, what do you say? Oh, really? Do you have a better idea? <laughs> I didn't think so. So you're asking me to come to League HQ, hypnotize all of the heroes, and make them all mindlessly obedient to me. Do I have that about right? 
You sure know how to sweet talk a lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just until you've all killed that abomination, don't worry. Putting heroes in my thrall. Been there, done that, got bored. Don't get me wrong, it was fun and all, but what do you do with all that power? There's only so many times you can make a hero cluck like a chicken before it gets old. I never really enslaved them, just had a little bit of fun, put in a couple of triggers in case they get in my way, that sort of thing. I was thinking of taking over, of course, but frankly, I've got better things to do than manage a bunch of heroes. But still, hypnotizing all of them and making it so they can't do anything but slavishly follow my will? That sounds like fun. Fine, I'm willing to help out. But in return, I get amnesty. And if, all right, when I misbehave and one of you actually manages to capture me, you give me a fine. Or community service. Or something. I mean, there's got to be some risk to keep things exciting. But you don't ever put me in that hell hole again. Deal? Oh, don't you worry. This is your decision to make. They will agree to whatever I tell them to. Huh? But I can mind control them into agreeing. That's the whole point. Oh, alright. Fine. Then it is your decision, because you're pretty much the only hero still capable of speaking for the League at the moment. Happy now? So do we have a deal? Alright, but just so you know, before I free anyone from my control again, I'm going to force them to tell me if they intend to keep our agreement. And if they don't, well, I'm not going to either. Agreeable. Good. I'm glad we could see eye to eye on this. Well, that's all settled then. Let's pick up where we left off, then shall we? Where were we? Right. Look into my eyes. Think. Wake up. Relax. It's just a little insurance policy. I'm not going to walk into the belly of the beast without making sure that you're actually telling me the truth. Or without a couple of trump cards up my sleeve. It's like I always say. Trust is good, but mind control is better. You can move again, by the way. <laughs> Looks like I'm working together with heroes now. Who would have thought? I'll go check with my sidekick to see if they have any more ideas on how to best approach this, and then I'll drop by your headquarters to see what I can do. <laughs> see you later, hero. Oh, just one more thing. I guess for the moment, I'm technically on your team now. <laughs> <laughs>